As India lives in our villages, so is our education, especially school education. More than 90% children study in government or government-funded institutions in India. The high-quality schools is largely a metropolitan noise. Indian school education cannot improve unless education in government and government-funded schools improve. An important dichotomy is between the urban and the rural areas. In urban areas, there are private schools alongside the government schools. So parents have a choice. If they can afford, they can send their children to good schools. In rural areas, there is no such opportunity. Irrespective of their talent, potentiality, and even the paying capability of the parents, children in the rural areas have no choice. They are completely doomed to poor quality education. With its mission of pioneering research-based innovation, Educational Technology and Management Academy wanted to challenge this situation. We started an experimental high-quality school for the deprived rural children funded to philanthropy and volunteerism. We set up the school in Udang, a village in Howrah district in the eastern part of India. This is not a school in conventional sense of quality. It has a different concept of education and also it works with a different kind of pedagogy where learning overtakes teaching. Look at this simple exercise, how children are learning to concentrate. Concentration is the key to quality learning. Please watch how the children are singing together for joy as well as for harmony. You can listen to their song in English, but remember, none, none at home speaks in English. Here is a new innovation, which you call freedom of space. The entire floor is the learning aid of the children. The floor creates learning ambience for incidental learning. Look at the joyfulness and playfulness. Children are trying to match the alphabet written on the flashcard with the one written on the floor. They keep on searching and match. When they match, they do not know whether it is A or B or N or M. In fact, this is how they are discovering and all this to a playful, joyful mode. There is no children's park in rural areas. We decided to set up a children's park and we have set up. Here, the joy of the children moves to bound. These children have no toys at home at all. But here, they learn to play with their toys, share, collaborate. They overcome deprivation of toys, in the process of playing with beads, children are actually creating designs. And remember, designing is a creative endeavor. ICT skills are necessary life skills today. In this remote rural school, every child 
works on a laptop or a computer and learn some basic skills. Idea is to break the ice, remove the sense of deprivation and in the process build up certain skills for further development. Here is another instance of collaborative learning where children interact with each other, correct each other, support each other, complement each other. This is an interesting experiment. Egg is just the medium. They are actually comparing an ordinary scale with a spring balance, with a chemical balance. Similarly, for measuring length, they are using normally normal ordinary scale that we find in the geometry box, a tailor step and a slight calipers. They learn to measure diameter, length, circumference. In the process, they also learn the new words like diameter, vertical, horizontal, which was not in their vocabulary. But you can't imagine the joy when they are asked to eat the egg. That was a culmination of the peak point of happiness. School is run by qualified but volunteer teachers. They are primarily the daughters and daughters-in-laws from these villages. They are very happy, highly motivated, joyful. Each teacher has an access to a computer and an internet. When the school is over, teachers work on the computers. You don't get qualified, high quality trainers in the villages. These teachers are regularly trained either when a good trainer visits the village or they get trained by high quality globally reputed trainers through video conference, through Skype or Google. Actually school works in a minimally invasive learning principle through minimum discipline where discipline is managed through either affection or love but not by anger or even showing the eyes. We say it in a normally understandable term as no teaching. You have to come to the school to believe that such an education is possible in such a remote village where people can afford good education but they are getting it. Any one of you, anywhere in the world, is welcome to partner in this innovative experiment.